Hey, what's up, big guys? In this week's video, I'm going to be doing my first story time video. Lots of people do these story time videos and they have lots of views. And I really wanted to do a story time video because, like, I love watching story time videos. But I don't have a lot of stories since I'm only 13 years old. But I thought of a story that happened to me when I was probably five or six and I almost got kidnapped. So stay tuned to this video if you want to see what happened. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into the video. So first off, this is back when I lived in Illinois. I lived in Danville, Illinois. And I went to this Taekwondo place called, I'm not gonna say the name because I'm just not gonna say names in this video. And so I went there for after school. The bus from my elementary school would drive me there, drop me off, I would go to, I would go to karate, do my karate, and then like, it's basically just after school, but you do karate while you were there. So um, the bus was taking me there, the bus dropped me off, like usual, I walked up to the door and there was a sign and it said like they were on a field trip somewhere and I didn't know about that. So when I, and then I tried to, it said that they were on a field trip. So I was like, um, cause I didn't know anything about it. So I tried to open the doors and they were locked. And then I like turned around and the bus was already gone. So I didn't know what to do. I had literally a Game Boy in my backpack. So I pulled out my Game Boy and I was playing on it. So I just started to start walking home and my house was about three miles away. So I was like, hmm, okay. So I started walking home. I had to go like um, right and then left and straight on down past the train tracks. And then I was on Main Road. I don't know what the road was called, but it was like the main road of town because Danville, Illinois is so small. So this was like the main busy road. So I started walking down there with my heavy book bag when it's 90 degrees out, I was like sweating. And at the time my sister worked at Dairy Queen and there was a Dairy Queen on that road. So I was just gonna, I thought to myself, okay, I should walk there, tell her to take me home and then I can get home. So I kept walking and I got to the Dairy Queen and I went inside um, and went to the cashier and asked them if my sister was there. Of course my sister wasn't working that day. So like, okay, and they're like, do you want some water? I was like, wait, they were like, they didn't even ask me if I, like, was related to her. Because, like, you would think if, like, I was asking for her, then, like, we would know each other. But they didn't ask that. So, um, I went and sat down at the table because, like, in Dairy Queen, it's so cold in there. And it felt so good from being outside 90 degree weather to go inside. So, I just sat down, started playing on my Game Boy a little bit. And then here comes this group of cops. They sat down on the table, like, right next to me and stuff. And I didn't think anything of it, which was stupid of me. Um, I should have asked them to take me home because at the time my dad was a firefighter. So he would have known the cops because once again, small town, everybody knows each other. He would have known them so they could have just gave me a ride home. But I didn't think of that. So um, after about 20 minutes, I started walking again. And there is this, um, to get to my house, you have to cross a big, well, it's not a big lake, but you have to cross a lake. And there's this big bridge. And I was like dreading to go across that bridge. Anyway, so I kept walking and then there was a stoplight. I was about, I was at the stoplight and then this lady yelled at me and she was like, she yelled out my name and I turned around and I was like, and she was like, come here. And so I slowly walked to her and then she was like, are you Nathan Bailey? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, what are you doing out here? And I was like, I like, I was lost. Like I'm going home because school dropped me off at the place, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, I can give you a ride home because I know your mom. And I was like, um, and she was like, trust me, just get in my car. I, was, I don't trust you. And then, so she was like, okay, um, so what do you want me to do? And I was like, can I ask you some questions? And so I asked her some questions and she got all of them right. So I trusted her. And so she took me in the van and I was like, my heart was racing. I was so freaking scared that I was about to die, get kidnapped in this ghetto town that I lived in. I thought I was a goner. And so she actually drove me home. And then when I got home, I was so relieved. I went to my house, knocked on the door and my dad and my brother opened the door and they were drinking lemonade, pink lemonade, just like, and I was like, I'm over here walking home as a second grader and you're just over here drinking lemonade. Okay, but yeah, um, I wanted my parents to like report this to like the school to tell the bus not to like just ditch me, but they never did that. So yeah, that's my story time. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up for doing this story time. And if you want to follow my social media links, the links will be down in the description below. And subscribe to my channel if you are new here or you just want to subscribe because I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And as always, I will see you guys Wednesday for another video. Bye! T5. I use iMovie to edit. I'm very outgoing. I like to use my hands a lot. Yeah, I like do hand motions and stuff. Like, I'm in middle school. I'm in seventh grade. I have a younger brother who is.